Poland, a country steeped in history and rich culture, has so much more to offer than meets the eye. From its picturesque landscapes to its vibrant traditions, there's an entire world waiting to be discovered. In this video, we're delving deep into the heart of Poland to uncover 15 fascinating facts that might just surprise you. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or simply curious about this Eastern European gem, get ready to embark on a journey of enlightenment. So let's dive right in and unearth some hidden treasures about Poland. Number one, Poland is home to the world's biggest castle. Our first stop takes us to the majestic castle of the Teutonic Order in Malbork. This stunning castle, located in the town of Malbork, Poland, is a true masterpiece. It's the largest castle in the world when measured by land area. Originally constructed by the Teutonic Knights in the 13th century, this castle served as an Ordensburg fortress. They named it Marienburg, in honor of Mary, the mother of Jesus. Fast forward to 1457, during the Thirteen Years' War, and it was sold to King Casimir IV of Poland. From then on, it became one of Poland's royal residences and the hub of Polish offices and institutions. Except for a few years of Swedish occupation, this castle had quite a royal history. The construction period of this castle is a bit of a debate among historians, but most of them agree that it took around 132 years, from 1274 to 1406, to complete this architectural marvel. Speaking of marvels, when it was finished in 1406, it held the title of being the world's largest brick castle. Poland is not just home to this gem, it boasts a total of 15 UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So, if you're a history and culture enthusiast, Poland should be on your travel bucket list. Number 2. Poland has one of the world's oldest salt mines. When you visit Poland, make sure you don't miss this hidden gem. We're talking about the Wieliczka Salt Mine, an astonishing underground wonder that's been around for over 800 years. This isn't your ordinary salt mine. It's known as the Underground Salt Cathedral of Poland. Imagine descending 135 meters, 440 feet, below the ground with your guide and entering a world like no other. Inside, you'll discover a mesmerizing world filled with chambers, sculptures, and even chandeliers, all made from salt. It's hard to believe, but artisans have crafted these astonishing works of art from the very walls of the mine. An entire chapel carved entirely from rock salt. Yes, a chapel. The Wieliczka salt mine has a salt chapel that will leave you in awe of the skills and dedication that went into creating it. This remarkable place isn't just any old mine. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That means it's recognized globally for its historical and cultural significance. It's a testament to the rich history of Poland. The Wieliczka salt mine has been producing salt continuously since the 13th century. That's over 700 years of salt production. Unfortunately, the mine ceased salt production in 2007, but its legacy lives on as a remarkable tourist attraction that tells the story of Poland's salt-rich history. Number 3. Vodka originated in Poland. Vodka's origins have been a topic of debate, especially among Russians. However, historical records tell us a different story. The first written mention of vodka was found in Polish court documents dating all the way back to 1405. Back then, it wasn't a party drink. Nope. Vodka started off as something quite unexpected. A form of medicine. Imagine that, using vodka for its medicinal properties. It just goes to show how things can change over time, doesn't it? Fast forward a bit, and Poland's been in the vodka game since the Middle Ages. That's centuries of perfecting the craft. Today, Polish distilleries are still known for producing some of the finest vodkas in the world. Would you believe it if I told you that Poland pumps out a whopping 260 million liters of this spirit each year? That's enough to fill over a hundred Olympic-sized swimming pools. It's no wonder they're considered experts in the field. Number 4. Europe's heaviest animals live in Poland. Our story takes place in the heart of Poland, within the enchanting Białowieża primeval forest. This forest is not just any forest. It's the last primeval forest in Europe, a living relic from thousands of years ago when such forests covered the entire continent. The European bison, or the wisent. These magnificent creatures are the heaviest land animals in all of Europe, weighing in at a whopping average of over 600 kilograms. They're like the giants of the European wilderness. And guess where you can find them? Right here in Poland, 
within the expansive 150,000 hectares of the Białowieża primeval forest. It's their sanctuary, a place where they can roam freely and thrive. The Białowieża primeval forest is not just a forest, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it's easy to see why. It's a lush, ancient wonderland, where time seems to stand still. Towering trees, pristine meadows, and meandering streams provide the perfect backdrop for these incredible creatures. These European bison almost went extinct in the early 20th century due to hunting and habitat loss. Poland, however, played a pivotal role in their conservation. Thanks to dedicated conservation efforts, the European bison population in Poland has been steadily increasing, and they have been successfully reintroduced to other parts of Europe as well. Number 5. Poland had the world's first upside-down house. Nestled in the heart of a serene Polish forest, this whimsical wooden wonder is truly a remarkable sight. Built completely upside down, it's like something straight out of a storybook. You don't walk in through a front door, you enter through the attic windows. It's a surreal experience, let me tell you. Once inside, you'll find yourself in a furnished interior that takes you back to a different era. The decor is a throwback to the 1970s, a time when Poland was under communist rule. It's a powerful symbol of how that period turned life upside down for so many. It's not just a house, it's a living museum, preserving a piece of history for generations to come. Since its unveiling in 2007, hundreds of curious tourists have made the journey to witness this architectural marvel. Can you believe it? This mind-bending structure is in the quaint Polish village of Simbark. It may be small, with only around 500 residents, but it's left an indelible mark on the world of architecture and tourism. Number 6. Polish people marry the youngest in Europe. Did you know that in Poland, people tie the knot on average between the ages of 25 to 27? That's right, younger than any other country in the European Union. It's almost like a Polish tradition to say, I do, at a relatively tender age compared to their European neighbors. There are a few factors at play here. First, Poland is a country with strong family values and traditions. Many Poles still believe in the importance of marriage and starting a family at a young age. It's deeply ingrained in their culture. Another reason for this early marriage trend is the cultural significance of weddings in Poland. Polish weddings are known for being incredibly grand and festive affairs. Couples go all out to celebrate their love. And it's not just about the bride and groom, but also about their families and friends. So, if you happen to befriend a Polish couple in their mid-twenties who are in a committed relationship, get ready for a truly unforgettable experience at their wedding. So, why does all of this matter? Well, it sheds light on the unique cultural aspects of Poland and how they differ from other European countries. Understanding these cultural nuances can help us appreciate the diversity and beauty of our world. Number 7. Poland is in the top 10 largest countries in Europe. Poland is not just your average European country. It covers a whopping 312,680 square kilometers, making it the ninth largest country on the continent. That's right, it's in the top 10. This means there's a lot more to explore than you might have thought. One of the things that makes Poland truly special is its diverse landscapes. From the stunning Tatra Mountains in the south to the picturesque Masurian Lake District in the north, there's a little something for everyone. And let's not forget about the Baltic Sea coast with its beautiful beaches. Poland's cultural heritage is like a treasure trove waiting to be discovered. The country has a history that dates back over a thousand years, and it's visible in its architecture, traditions, and even its cuisine. If you're a history buff, Poland is a dream come true. It's home to an abundance of historical sites, including the awe-inspiring Wawel Castle in Krakow and the haunting Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial and Museum. Each of these places tells a powerful story and offers a glimpse into Poland's past. Krakow and Warsaw are vibrant, dynamic places that blend the old with the new. You can stroll through their charming old towns, visit world-class museums, and indulge in some seriously delicious Polish cuisine. One of the true gems of Poland is its people. Poles are known for their warm hospitality and friendliness. Whether you're asking for directions or striking up a conversation in a cafe, you're likely to be met with a smile. Number 8. There is a Polish Sahara. The Buendowska Desert, nestled between Krakow and Katowice, is a true marvel. It's the largest accumulation of loose sand in Central Europe. 
But how did this unique landscape come to be? Thousands of years ago, as a massive glacier began to melt, it left behind a vast expanse of crumbled rock and sand. However, what's truly intriguing is that the desert climate we see today was not solely a natural occurrence. Human activity played a significant role in shaping this desert. Aggressive forest clearing and mining activities disrupted the natural balance of the ecosystem. This left the soil unable to hold a constant water table, giving birth to the Buendowska Desert. The name Buendowska is derived from the Polish word Buendow, which translates to mistake. This name carries a profound meaning. It reminds us of the unintended consequences that can arise from our actions, even in the pursuit of progress. Walking through the Buendowska Desert is truly a surreal experience. The shifting sands and the unique flora that have adapted to this harsh environment are a testament to nature's resilience. Number 9. Europe's largest primeval forest is in Poland. We're talking about Bielowieza National Park. Nestled near Poland's eastern border with Belarus, this place is not just any forest. It's a UNESCO World Heritage listed site, and it's nothing short of a natural wonder. Towering trees that have stood here for centuries, untouched landscapes that have witnessed the passage of time. This is Bialowieza National Park, a true testament to the raw power and beauty of nature. Some of these trees are among the oldest on the planet. Can you believe it? It's like stepping back in time, and you can be a part of it. Bialowieza National Park offers some of the most breathtaking walking trails you'll find anywhere in the world. Whether you're a casual stroller or a serious hiker, this place has something for everyone. Bialowieza National Park is home to the largest population of European bison in the world. These magnificent creatures roam freely in this protected sanctuary. If you're lucky, you might just spot one during your hike. Imagine the thrill of seeing one of these powerful animals in their natural habitat. Number 10. The Polish language is one of the hardest in the world. If you've ever thought about picking up a new language in a moment, you might want to think twice about tackling Polish. Even for native speakers, it's a bit of a linguistic roller coaster. Here's why. Polish boasts a whopping seven cases, creating a grammar labyrinth that even daily users can find perplexing. Just imagine that seven different ways nouns and pronouns can change depending on their role in a sentence. And let's not forget about pronunciation. It's no walk in the park, I assure you. With sounds that might be quite foreign to non-native speakers, getting it right can be a real feat. The intricacies of stress patterns and nasal vowels can leave even the most determined learners scratching their heads. Polish has a penchant for exceptions. For every rule you think you've mastered, there are hundreds of exceptions waiting to prove you wrong. It's like a puzzle where the pieces keep changing shape. And then there's the Polish alphabet. There are moments when you might think you're seeing double, literally, two characters, one sound. It's a spelling nightmare for the uninitiated. If you're already acquainted with languages like Russian, Croatian, or Romanian, you might think you have a leg up, and you'd be partly right. Polish is a bit of a linguistic hybrid, borrowing elements from these languages. But don't be fooled, it's a whole new ballgame with its unique twist on verb conjugation, noun inflection, and grammatical exceptions. Number 11. Polish men kiss women's hands as a greeting. This might seem a bit out of the ordinary if you're used to the standard hugs and handshakes. In Poland, greetings are a tad more reserved, especially when meeting someone new. It's customary to address women before men, showcasing a deep respect for the fairer sex. Instead of the usual handshake, especially among senior men, you might find them leaning in for a graceful hand kiss. It's a gesture that's deeply embedded in Polish culture and signifies a sign of respect and politeness. If this feels a bit uncomfortable for you, worry not. You have a choice. If you'd rather stick to the familiar handshake, simply extend your hand firmly, and that's perfectly acceptable. There's absolutely no offense taken. In fact, in today's Poland, this tradition has evolved. Many see it as a more modern approach, acknowledging that different greetings exist worldwide. So, whether you're comfortable with a hand kiss or prefer a handshake, it's all about what feels right for you. Number 12. Donut Day, aka Fat Thursday. Poles absolutely love celebrations, and one of the most beloved traditions is Fat Thursday, which falls on the Thursday before Ash Wednesday. It's a day of indulgence, a day when you can forget about your diet and satisfy your sweet tooth. What makes Fat Thursday so special? Well, it's all about one thing, donuts. 
Poles celebrate this day with an incredible array of donuts, and it's completely fine to enjoy as many as you want. Poles consume approximately 100 million donuts on Fat Thursday alone. That's right, 100 million. It's a nationwide donut feast that's been happening for generations. The tradition of Fat Thursday dates back centuries, and it has its roots in the pre-Lenten celebrations. People would indulge in rich, fatty foods before the fasting period of Lent began. The most popular type of donut in Poland on Fat Thursday is the ponczki. These are round, sweet pastries filled with various fillings like jam, custard, or chocolate. They're simply irresistible. On Fat Thursday, you'll find long lines at bakeries and confectionaries across Poland. People wake up early to ensure they get their hands on the freshest and tastiest donuts available. Fat Thursday is not just about indulging in delicious treats, it's also a time for socializing and spreading joy. Families, friends, and co-workers often gather to celebrate together and share the joy of donut eating. Donuts are not the only sweet treat on Fat Thursday. You'll also find a variety of pastries, cakes, and other confections to satisfy your sugar cravings. In recent years, the tradition of Fat Thursday has also extended beyond Poland's borders. Polish communities around the world celebrate this tasty holiday, keeping their cultural heritage alive. Number 13. There is water, water everywhere. Spanning an impressive 180 miles and covering 20,000 square miles in the northeastern part of Poland, the Masurian Lakeland is a true natural wonder. Over 2,000 lakes dotting this picturesque landscape, creating a tapestry of shimmering blue waters. One of the stars of this aquatic spectacle is none other than Lake Sniardwi, the largest lake in Poland. It stretches an astonishing 13.7 miles in length and spans 8.3 miles in width. This place truly comes alive in the summer. You can lace up your hiking boots and explore the tranquil shores of Lake Sniardwi. The lush greenery, the gentle lapping of water, and the warm sun painting the landscape. It's a nature lover's paradise. The Masurian Lakeland offers a full range of activities. From sailing and kayaking to fishing and bird watching, there's something for everyone to enjoy. The surrounding towns and villages are steeped in rich history and culture. From charming architecture to delicious local cuisine, this region has it all. So if you're looking for a hidden gem that's off the beaten path, consider adding the Masurian Lakeland to your travel bucket list. It's a place where water, water is everywhere, and adventure awaits at every turn. Number 14. Going to university is free in Poland. If you're a Polish citizen, higher education at state institutions is completely free. No hefty tuition fees, no student loans to worry about. It's a fantastic opportunity for all Polish students to pursue their dreams without the financial burden. For our international viewers, the situation is a bit different. International students studying in Poland usually have to pay for their university studies. It's important to keep in mind that while Poland offers top-notch education, there might be tuition costs involved for non-Polish citizens. Let's talk about one of Poland's educational gems, the Jagiellonian University. Established in the year 1364, it's not only Poland's oldest university, but one of the oldest in the entire world. Can you believe that? It's a testament to Poland's rich academic history. Besides the exceptional education, students here get to experience a vibrant and diverse culture. Poland is known for its warm hospitality and thriving student life. It's not just about the classroom, it's about the whole experience. Number 15. During Dobity 2, the Poles saved the highest amount of Jews. One of the things you might not know about Poland is that during World War II, they accomplished something truly extraordinary they saved the highest number of Jews during this devastating period. Poland suffered immensely during the war. Shockingly, approximately 1.1 million innocent lives were lost at the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camps, a horrifying testament to the brutality of that era. Amidst this darkness, the Poles emerged as beacons of hope. They risked their own lives to shelter and protect Jews, despite knowing that aiding them was punishable by death. This incredible act of humanity is a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Polish people. To put this into perspective, approximately 50,000 brave souls paid the ultimate price for their compassion and courage. They were executed for daring to defy the Nazis and lend a helping hand to those in need. So there you have it, 
A powerful piece of history that showcases the incredible bravery and compassion of the Polish people during one of the darkest chapters in human history. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging insights into history. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world's untold stories. Take care.